Killing spree was brought down with the help of this 13-year-old boy, James Romero. He's now 45, living in Arizona. He looked right at me. James is describing his face-to-face -face encounter with Ramirez on a summer night back in 1985, the night Ramirez stalked his home here in Mission Viejo. James was up late in the garage after a family road trip. All of a sudden, I hear footsteps in the gravel. Crunch, 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 crunch. James bolted into the house, woke his parents up. They called 911. Ramirez took off, but not before fearless James ran outside. And I look and I see the car and I, I get part of the plate. Detectives quickly figured out James encountered the Night Stalker. Investigators kept coming to the house and asking him to look at random cars. They kind of just coached me on, hey, we're not going to stop. You know, we can't sit and get out of the car. We can't look at it. You know, we're going to drive through this parking lot. And if you see a car that looks like the one you saw, let us know. Police would find Ramirez's car. James confirmed it. With that confirmation, they lifted a fingerprint and ultimately identified Ramirez. It wouldn't be long until his capture. When I was in court, I, w I was in the room sitting with him. You know, I was on the witness stand eight hours. The defense attorney swore had me swear in and they put the Bible and they they had me swear in standing right next to him. 